Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Shigeru Kataro para naman sa Pinoy Tutorial TV as in PTTV, okay? So ang topic natin ngayon ay the history of the computers, okay? So ano ba ang history of computers mga friendship? Meron ba kayong idea? So this is all about computer, no? Siyempre, eto yung mga kagaya nitong picture, no? So magsimula na tayo. Kung meron kayong mga tanong mamaya na kayong magtanong or mag-comment down below, at kung gusto nyo naman mag-suggest ng mga kagaya nitong topic, mag-comment down below. Alright, so exploring the evolution of technology. So what is computer mga friendship? Hmm. So, kung gusto nyo malaman, syempre, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. Please don't forget to subscribe, Pinoy Tutorial TV. Alright, so a computer is a programmable electronic device that accepts raw data as an input and process with a set with a set of instruction to produce the result of our, as output. It renders output just after performing mathematical and logical operations and can save the output for future use. It can process numerical as well as the numerical calculations. The term computer is derived from the Latin word computari, okay, which means calculate. Okay? So, ayun nga mga friendship. No? So, ang computer ay nagsimula sa word, Latin words na, or Latin word na computari. Okay? So, from the word computers or computation, yan. So, kaya na buo ang computer dahil nga sa nagsimula ito sa pag-compute. Okay? So, yung unang panahon, according to the history of the computer, the first counting device was used by the primitive people. They used sticks. Ayan. So, kagaya niyan, sticks, stones, ayan, ano pa, and bones. Okay? So, ginagamit nila yan as counting tools as human mind and technology improved with time, more computing devices were developed. So, some of the popular computing device starting with the first to recent ones are described below. Okay, so, ayun. One of the earliest and most well-known device was an abacus. So, ang abacus mga friendship ay isa sa mga unang ginagamit nila sa pag-compute. No? Pag-add, multiply, divide. Ayan. So, then in 1822, the father of computer Charles Babbage began developing what would be the first mechanical computer and then in 1833 he actually designed and um design and then uh, um yun nga merong tumatawag sa akin ba actually design an analytical engine which was a general purpose computer okay so ito yung abacus na meron tayong japanese abacus meron tayong russian abacus and chinese abacus so abacus and abacus is a simple ancient counting device that has been used for thousands of years to perform mathematical calculations. So, ito yung ginagamit nila noong unang panahon pa. So, libo-libong taon na nakalipas. Na? So, yun na nga, no? it consists of a rectangular frame with rods and wires running vertically. It's containing a series of movable beads or counters. The abacus is used by sliding these beads back and forth on the rods to represent numbers and perform arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, yun ang gamit nitong abacus. No? Pwede ka mag-add, pwede ka mag-subtract, pwede ka mag-multiply, and mag-divide. Alright, so abacus, the history of a computer begins with the birth of abacus, which is believed to be the first computer. It is said that Chinese invented abacus around 4,000 years ago. It was a wooden rock which has metal rods with beads mounted on them. The beads are moved by the abacus operator according to some rules to perform arithmetic. Calculation abacus is still used in some countries like China, Russia, and Japan. An image of this tool is shown below. Ayun, nakita niya na. Ito na, okay? So, ito yung abacus na. So, pwede kang mag-plus, pwede kang uh, mag- multiply it, mag divide okay so napier bones so ano napier bones yan it was manually operated calculating device which was invented by John Napier 1550 and 1617 of Merkeston in this circulating tool he used nine different ivory strips or bones marked 
with number to multiply and divide. So the tool became known as Napier, Napier is bones. It was also the first machine to use the decimal point. So not the man, we have the Pascaline. So Pascaline is known as Arist arithmetic machine or adding machine. It was invented between 1642 and 1644 by a French mathemat mathematician philosopher Blaise Pascal. So it is believed that it was the first mechanical automatic calculator. Pascal invented this machine to help his father, a tax count accountant. It could only perform addition and subtraction. So ayun lang ang nahapi perform niya only subtraction, uh, addition and subtraction. It was a wooden box with a series of gears and wheels. When a wheel is rotated one revolution, it rotates the neighboring wheel. A series of windows is given on the top of the wheels to read the totals and image of this tool is shown. Ayan. Okay. Next naman, we have the step reckoner or Leibniz wheel. So it was developed by a German mathematician philosopher, Gottfried uh, Wilhelm Leibniz. In 1673, he improved Pascal's invention to develop this machine. It was a digital machine, mechanical calculator which was called the step reckoner as instead of gears, it was made of flute, fluted drums. So we have the photos, no? And you naman. Okay, so difference engine. The early 1820s, it was designed by Charles Babbage who is known as a father of modern computer. It was a mechanical computer which could perform simple calculations. It was a stream driven calculating machines designed to dissolve tables of numbers like algorithm tables. Okay? So yan na yung mga ito yung mga pinagdaanan ng computer no, yung history niya. So hindi na tayo tatagal. So dadaanan natin. So uh, meron ding analytical engine. So this calculating machine was also developed by Charles Babbage in 1830, okay? So it was a mechanical computer that used punch cards as input. It was ca capable of solving any ma mathematical problem and storing information as a permanent memory. Okay, so we have an analytical engine. Next, we have the tab tabulating machine. So it was invented in 1890 by Herman Hollyreth, an American statistician. And it was mechanical tabulator based on punch cards. So it could tabulate statistics and record or sort data or information. This machine was used in the 1890 U.S. Census. So Hollerath also started the Hollerath Tabulating Machine Company which later became International Business Machine or IBM in 18, what, uh, 1924. Okay, so we have the Differential Analyzer. It was the first electronic computer introduced in the United States in 18, 1930. So it was an analog device invented by Vannevar Bush or Bush. This machine has vacuum tubes to switch electrical signals to perform calculations and it could do 25 calculations in few minutes. So ayun, medyo nag aangat na siya. Next naman is we have the Mark 1. So the next major change in the history of the computer began in 1931 when Howard Aiken planned to develop a machine that could perform calculations involving large numbers in 1944. Mark I, or Mark I computer was built as a partnership between IBM and IBM and Harvard. So it was the first programmable digital computer. Okay. Next we have the generation of computers. So a generation of computers refers to the specific improvements in computers technology with time. In 1946, electronic pathways called circuits were developed to perform the counting. It replaced the gears and other mechanical parts used for counting in previous computing computing machines. In each new generation, the circuits became smaller and more advanced than the previous generation circuits. So the miniaturization helped increase the speed. So memory and power of computers 
there are five generations of computer which are described okay so we have here the first generation computers the first generation computers 1946 1959 computers were slow huge and expensive no during the time in this computers vacuums tubes were used the basic components of cpu and memory so these computers were mainly depended on butch operating system and punch cards magnetic tape and paper tape were used as output and input devices in this generation some of the popular first generation computers we have here the ENIAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC and IBM 701, IBM 650 next we have the second generation computers so this the second uh, second generation 1959 to 1965 was the era of the transistor computers no? So these computers used transistors, which were cheap, compact, and consuming less power. It made transistor computer fast than the first generation computers. Okay, so in this generation, magnetic cores were used as the primary memory, and magnetic disk and tapes were used as the secondary what storage. So assembly language and programming language like COBOL and Fortran, and much. Process, processing and multi uh, multi programming operating system were used in these computers. So some of the po the popular second generation computers are we have the IBM sixteen twenty, IBM seventy ninety four, CDC sixteen zero four, and the CDC three six hundred, and the Univac one one zero eight. Okay, so third generation computers so the third generation computers use integrated circuits we have the ICS instead of transistor a single IC can pack huge number of transistors which increase the power of a computer and reduce the cost the cost the computers also became more reliable efficient and smaller in size this gen this generation computers use remote processing time sharing multi-programming as operating system also the high level programming language like Fort fortron 2 to 4 and cobol pascal pl or the algo 68 were used in this generation next some of the popular third generation computers are ibm 360 series we have the honeywell 6000 series series and we have the pdp personal data processor and the IBM 370 and the 168 TDC 316 okay so here we are in the fourth generation computers the fourth generation we have the 1971 to 1980 computers use very large scale integrated VLSI circuits okay so a chip containing millions of transistor and other circuit elements this chips made this generation computers more compact powerful fast and affordable this generation computers use real-time real-time sharing and distributed operating system the programming language like c to c plus plus dva is were also used in this generation so some of the popular fourth generation computers are dec or deck 10 star 1000 pdp 11 say RAY1 supercomputer and we have the SRAY XMP supercomputer. So the fifth generation computers in the fifth generation computer we have the from 1980 till now no computers are VLSI technology was replaced with ULSI and UL ultra large scale integration it made possible the production of microprocessor chips with 10 million electronic components this is this generation computers use parallel processing hardware and ai artificial intelligence software the programming language used in this generation were c and the c plus plus java net etc some of the popular fifth generation computers are we have the desktop and laptop we have the chromebook we have the ultrabook and the notebook so yun mga kababayan mga fr uh, friendship no yun yung history ng computer so medyo mabilis tayo dumaan lang tayo doon sa mga iba kasi nga eh yun yung yun lang naman masyadong mahaba yung oras natin pag 
ating i-explain lahat yun. Pero yon nagsimula siya sa ang pinaka pinagsimulan talaga niya ay walang iba kundi ang ang abacos tapos yun na pagkatapos nun meron ang mga na-develop hanggang eto na nga nakikita nyo yung desktop laptop chromebook ultrabook and notebook okay so yan maraming salamat sa inyo thank you for watching this is Shig Raketero ayan please don't forget to subscribe and share and like this video uh, okay stay safe and get bless everyone